Hello everyone. Welcome back to Smart Classes. Before we start the video, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon to get the updates. In our previous videos, we have covered the topics of large numbers, expanding numbers, comparing numbers, ordering of numbers, place value and face value of numbers. If you haven't seen them, kindly go through it to get the basics of large numbers. I'll also mention the link over here in the description so that you can directly go to the video. Now let's move ahead. We are back with maths video again and we are going to start second chapter that is the four basic operations. The four basic operations are addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Today we are going to study addition. We will try to cover all the basics about addition. So the first question arises that what is addition? The operation to find the total of different values is called addition. There is one basic rule of addition which is very simple where we first add ones, then tens, then hundreds then thousands and so on for more digits. Now let's see some facts about addition and here's the first one that addition of small numbers can be done horizontally. First add ones then take carry mentally on tens. Addition of large numbers can be done vertically written under the place value chart to make it more convenient. Another fact states that zero added to a number does not change the value of a number. As you can see here that there is no change in the sum after adding 0 with the add in 6584. The answer is same as the add in. Moving towards the another fact, 1 added to a number gives the successor of the number as the sum. For example, 7462 plus 1 is equal to 7463 which is its sum and this is also the successor. Another example, here 9999 plus 1 gives us 10,000 as the sum which is also the successor of 9999. Last but not the least fact about the addition is that the numbers which we add together to find the answer those numbers are called as addend. And the answer which we get after adding those numbers 
is called as the sum. Here, 2,343 and 6,281 are the add -ins. and 8,624 is the sum. Now some basics about the order of addends. Changing the order of addends in an addition does not change the answer. There is no change in the answer, so ordering doesn't matter in addition. We can take any number first as per our convenience. While adding more than two numbers, we can group any two numbers first. It does not change the sum. The answer will remain same. Now let's see some examples. Here, we have to add two numbers, 231 and 114. As we have already studied that the small numbers can be added mentally by using horizontal method. Here we have to add 231 plus 114. So when we are adding it horizontally, we will see what are the digits on the 1's position in both of these numbers. As we can see it very clearly that in the first number, the first digit which is on the 1's position is 1 and in the second number, the digit on the 1's place is 4. So adding 1 and 4 gives us 5. When we are adding the digits placed on 10's, we will get the answer as 4 and when we are adding the digits placed on hundreds that is 2 and 1 we will get 3 so the answer will come 345 here is one more example here the two numbers which we are having for the addition are the larger ones so we can't follow that rule of horizontal method. Here we will solve it vertically. As we know that in addition, order of numbers doesn't matter. So we can write any number above and any number below it. After ordering the numbers, we will start adding them. Here, first we will add the numbers on the 1's position. 3 plus 6 gives us 9. So 9 will be written on the 1's position. Moving towards the 10's position, 6 plus 6 gives us 12. So here, 2 will be written here and 1 will go as a carryover on the 100's position. Which will make 5 plus 1 as 6 and 6 plus 7 as 13. So we will write 3 over here and 1 will go as the carryover on the thousands place which will make it 4 plus 1 as 5 and 5 plus 2 as 7. So the answer which we will get after adding both the numbers is 7320. 9 which is the sum of these numbers I hope you have understood the topic of addition here are some questions which you can try by yourself to improve your skills using all the rules and facts of addition Thank you for watching my video. If you love the video, hit the like button and you can also comment if you are having any confusion regarding this video.
don't forget to subscribe and share it. See you in the next video.